Hi, I'm Joyce Sikorsky, and I am one of the writers on the project Song of the Terebinth, the story of Judah and Tamar, and my collaborator is, is Michael Silvisher. Michael Silvisher. And so we were sitting talking one day about the story of Judah and Tamar, and this sort of creative, I don't know, what is the creative presence that comes into a room that germinates or gives or plants an idea. And the spirit of hoopla. The spirit of hoopla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Michael. Hi. <laughs> so the spirit. Spirit of hoopla. <laughs> so anyway, this idea for the story of Judith and Tamar, which of course is the song of the Terebinth, came just sort of like bubbling through the room and it hit me first, and I started realizing there was really a bigger picture here, something that had a lot more depth than just the bare details that are shown in the Genesis account. So we got to talking, and then Michael just really, he felt it too, and we realized, wow, we really have an incredible story on our hands. Well, that caused us to start researching and writing and figuring things out, and it's been an amazing journey, and now we're getting close to being able to release the book so that you can read the thing in its entirety. <laughs> it's so great. All I have to do is sit here. <laughs> I'm like George Burns, you know, George Burns used to say, you give her, you give Gracie a, so how's your a cousin? And she'll do 45 minutes. It's perfect. That's why I, that's I don't want <laughs> It's really bit. an incredible story about how a woman of the era, which is in the Middle Bronze era, how she comes into understanding the importance of her presence and her choices and her values in a world that is primarily controlled by men. It is a little misogynistic. Oh, it's very misogynistic. Oh, it is. Well, it was, but it isn't. Tamar actually becomes the catalyst for the right decisions of Judah that produces the two of them producing a lineage of kings.